welcome, welcome. I'm Hager Boredom, and this is a brand new series. It's Battle Chef Brigade on the Nintendo Switch. So this is a game that's been out for a little while, and it's kind of like a 2D brawler with uh, a kind of match-free kind of puzzle game as well. So yeah, it's a bit of a mashup, but it's also like a pretty good story-driven game. So hopefully we'll enjoy this one. It's got a bit of puzzling, which we like, and it's got a bit of 2D brawling, which we like. So, should be pretty decent, right? Well, let's uh, get to see what the story is. So, we'll jump right in. 100 years ago, monsters raged across Victusia. They destroyed farms, decimated the dwindling animal population, and attacked our people on sight. Famine and death swept the land. No one had dared to hunt and cook monsters for centuries fearing their cursed flesh. It was then that King Heinrich and Chef Robichaud delivered Victusia from the brink of extinction. Together, they built the finest culinary institution this world has ever seen, the Battle Chef Brigade, a legion of elite soldier chefs on the frontier of the culinary world. Now, battle chefs across the land stand as our protectors and providers, bringing monster cuisine from hunt to table. As summer begins, so does our tournament, drawing forth the next generation of culinary warriors. What new styles of cooking will we witness this year? What tantalizing dishes will be revealed? This year's tournament is sure to be our fiercest yet. Okay. Well, that gives a little hint of what this game's about. It's about cooking. About murdering monsters and then cooking them. So, okay. We've got six chapters, it seems. Start with chapter one. Windy Village. All right, so the art style on this is like a kind of like hand-drawn, watercolory kind of palette. It's pretty sweet, I gotta say. I'm pretty into it. I'm off to the market. Don't buy the blue squiggle again. It tasted spoiled last time. I'll ask the brigadiers about it. Where's Saskia? Trying to wake Mina up. She just keeps saying ten more minutes. Fair enough. Mina, get down here now. Saskia, let's go. We're already late. Mina, if you don't come down this instant. I'm up. Stop yelling. So our main character is Mina? Is the restaurant well, on that's fire us. or something? You know it's busiest on Fridays. Finish that Karano Mabo Tofu order for table two. Hmm. Alright. Okay, so I had a little bit of a playthrough off camera just to kind of get used to the game because it got a few different mechanics i wanted to not be a complete noob when i uh started filming this so yeah essentially this is the cooking element of the game and you have different things in your pantry so we're going to drop this in you can obviously move it around there's only one place to go and as you can see we've matched a whole bunch of elements there taste a bit off to me. A couple of things we got from the market were strange. One bow run noodle soup. On it. Okay. We're going to go to the table. And you want to pick the <laughs> squickle tentacle. Alright, so we're going to drop that in. And then basically the cooking is it allows you to kind of move the items around. So move it left and right, and then using these. Oh, I've messed this up already, I think. Oh, dear lord. Nope, that's right. We now want to do this. Boom, shakalaka. Essentially, you have like three different ingredients. So you've got the kind of water, which is the blue, earth, and fire, which are obviously those colors. And 
they have different kind of stages. So you have this top stage here, this green one, it's stage one. And like basically the smallest like blob in it. And then it goes up to stage two. And then it goes up to stage three, which is kind of like the crazy like uh, stage. And the higher the stage, the kind of more flavor and more points you get. So we need to match these greens. And then we need to kind of match the next level of green up. And then we pick it up and then we'll go and drop it off just here. You and essentially that's kind of the, again, didn't you? the main puzzle mechanic. Uh, it was Saskia's idea. <laughs> I suppose it was Saskia's idea the last ten times too. You know, your father and I would love you to apply, but we need you here. We're not going to be around forever, and your sister isn't even married. Oh no, what a shame, an unmarried woman. Ah, <gasps> oh, please. Ah, oh, I just saw Simon outside. Go gather some fresh- He looks like he's in the mood for something off-menu. I can always tell by how much he's slouching. His standards aren't that high. A 50-point dish should do. Okay, and then this is the other mechanics of the game, where you... That's, well, it's a brawler, so we're going to have to kill some dudes. And then make food out of them. Because we're that kind of person. Alright, so it goes into our pantry, which is essentially the ingredients we have here. And then we can just make some food out of it. All right, so we've got a whole bunch of blue orbs. Well, we've got tons of blue orbs. So we drop those in. We're gonna be making a very blue dish, it seems. All right. Oh, I've not left enough room for that, so we will just cook. So these are going to start cooking straight away. Or merging, I guess. Alright. Let's get in our pantry. And then let's stir again. Match those up. Oh yeah. And then let's see if we can... Make those. Boom shakalaka. Alright, we probably want to... We need a 50 point dishes, 42. So we probably should go back and kill some more stuff. Alright, that is a full load of stuff. Let's drop it in. We'll start this up good and proper. Oh, yeah. All right, hang on. Hmm, how do we get that underneath? There we go. Well, we've done a 50-point dish, so we can just pick this up. Give it to this dude. Hey, Mina. Got a new experiment for me to try? Well, it looks like eyeballs in a bow bun, which is pretty rank, but you know, hey. You bet. Only the finest from our backyard. Dig in. If this dude's gonna eat it, then enjoy. It's horrible. <laughs> what? That can't be. I tasted it myself. <laughs> what nah, a jerk. It's actually good. But I have to keep your ego in check. What's a that that Food is like literally bigger than his body. That is pretty crazy. Like that. Oh, Simon, it looks like we'll need some extra satchels of grain and flour. We're running through it a lot faster than expected. Mina, go over to Simon so he doesn't have to make a double trip. I really don't mind. You live so close by. Hush, I'll go. Give this money to his father when you get there. Thank you, Mrs. Han. Can't trust Simon.
Mm -mm, steam meatballs. Lupri. I guess that's a Simon monster Grinch. in the game. Before we get there, I need to tell you something. What's up? I'm not going to be around for a while. Ah, did you get grounded for brigade training again? This isn't a joke. I'm finally going to do it. I'm going to run away from home. <laughs> Mina, I think you're way too old for that now. I'm not throwing a tantrum. Mom and Dad will never let me leave for the brigade. If I wait for their permission, I'll be stuck cooking the same recipes for the same people forever. That's not necessarily true. You could change up the menu. When I make it in, I'll get to travel the land and learn about everything in the world of food. That's more than I could ever do here. You're serious then? Dead serious. I've got what it takes and I'm not growing enough around here where everyone's happy just doing the same old stuff. Well... <laughs> Your mom is gonna flip. And the only person who scares me more than my dad is your mom. Couldn't you wait till the restaurant picks back up a bit? It hasn't been doing so good. Plenty of new travelers will be passing through on their way to the Proving Tournament. They'll be fine. You don't own a coin your parents haven't given you first. How are you gonna... Nina Han, you rogue. Now I'm gonna be an accomplice. I knew I could count on you. This money is just enough to apply and a bit extra. Think you could help a neighbor out and spot me some flour? I don't like this. But how can I refuse my favorite neighbor? Thank you, Simon. <sighs> we should get going. Our parents are going to be annoyed that we're taking so long. God of Barley, give me strength. Your mom is going to kill me. I'll name a dish after you in the tournament. Well, it looks like we've got a coming of age story uh, happening, so... Yeah, hopefully Mina should uh, grow and appreciate small town life or something. Before I go, how about one more practice, hey Kiki? Sure. Why don't we practice with wind magic one last time? All right. We should have some time before Ma gets back from Auntie's house. I can't believe our little Mimi is all grown up. <sighs> it's really happening. It's really happening. All right, so we've got magic attacks as well. Have some of that. Ooh. Nasty. All right, it's too bad she doesn't practice battling anymore. Well, if I weren't for her and part starting up this restaurant, you wouldn't have a chance in that proving tournament. Get a few more ingredients while you're here. Can't let you leave me with all the work. Okay, so if we go up. Oh, we can punch stuff. So up and now Y is an uppercut. Oh, if you hold the direction. Oh, we've got a nice little combo there. Okay, if we hold the direction and press X, we do a little uppy kick. Uppy kick? Yeah, you know what I mean. Oh, before I forget, did you pack enough underwear? What? I think so. Remember, I gave you some of Dad's stationery. I want you to write every week. Kiki, stop acting like Mom. Hey, I have to make sure I'm not allowing you out to die in a ditch somewhere. Well, I'll have plenty of underwear and stationery with me in that ditch. <sighs> All right. Better get going. Thanks, Kiki. You have no idea what this opportunity means to me. Oh, I know. Don't screw up. And here, take this cookie jar with you. A little reminder of home. Ah. The smell of cookies is partly baked into the jar. Okay, so it's a stat boost. Okay, so we got different loadouts, right? So we've got a horse and the plushie, a stuffed sheep, gives me plus one health. We've got a satchel, gives me plus one satchel slots. 
and we've got a pair that gives plus one mana. Well, let's switch out the plushie because we're going to change that to plus two. Satchel slots and mana seem important. So we'll keep those for now. Maybe later on we will have harder enemies that we want to have more health for. But for right now, seems like a pretty good idea. Our mana recharges anyway, so... All right, Brigade Town. Uh, nice. Right on Kiki's cloak. I have to get this back, you know. I don't think that bird understands or it really cares that it crapped on you, but you know. <laughs> they say it's good luck for that to happen when you first come into town. Huh? That's gross. Who says that? Dudes without shoes. It's a capital thing. I'm Thrash, by the way. You're looking to register for the tournament, aren't you? Oh, yes. I'm Mina. Nice to meet you. How'd you know I was here for the tourney? That's a knife bag at your side. And you've got a pan handle sticking out of the back of your satchel. Right. <laughs> Marking the other contestants is easy. You can sense a special aura about them burning with excitement. <laughs> Look at me getting all worked up. Anyway, this is the back of the line. Up there with the pink-haired woman is where we register. Wow, that's a lot of contestants. This isn't even the half of it. I hear there's somewhere around 50 hopefuls. That's so awesome. But this line, yeesh. Just walk 30 miles and I don't have the energy for this. Well, you can cut in front of me if you like. Really? You're so kind, thanks. I'm assuming later on we'll probably have to fight these dudes. Or okay, this isn't gonna battle deal. them in the kitchen. Time for some Mina magic. Huh? I'll see you around. Gotta go. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Just trying to get through. Deceitful. Here we go. Next. Hey, she cut. Hi, I'm here for the... It'll be 10 gold to register. Yes, I have that. Here you go. Take this form and fill it out. Hand it to the gentleman to my right. Next! Mina Han, age 21, from the Windy Village. Title? Let's see. Well, Simon always calls me the Iron Stomach since I can eat anything. Done! Looks like with the Iron Stomach. Here is your registration number. Don't lose it. If you do, tough bricks. Tomorrow, your orientation is at 6 a.m. And the opening ceremony is at 4 p.m. 6 a.m.? I better go find a place to stay and rest up. Okay, so we need to find a room. Curious. What a cute little kitten. I mean, not a room. Wow. It <laughs> looks like this whole store is cat-themed. Good afternoon. Room for one. How much per night? Two gold a night, and we have complimentary breakfast here. My wife cooks up a storm. My wife? If you're here for the tournament, you can stay for the entirety of the competition for 20. It's a steal. Perfect. Although, that leaves me with nothing left. And what if I get eliminated early? No, I'm not going to get kicked out. I can do this. If you need to scrounge up some change, you could always do one of the jobs available in town. Useful. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. That'll do. Enjoy your stay and break a dish. What? Oh, it's probably another saying. Let me show you to your room. Ooh, a slime tang. Doesn't sound very appetizing. Wow, this is really nice. We do our best. I'll let you get settled in. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Thank you, sir. Maybe I'll just take a small nap. Seems a mistake. It seems a big mistake. Uh, uh, what time is it? I need to get downstairs.
Oh, we just jump on the bed. Huh? A lively painting of some horses. Oh, inspect. Interesting. Can't forget to write home later. Everyone will get worried. Huh? Oh, maybe that's the innkeeper's wife. Okay, so if I press A, I can do uh, whatever that is. How may I be of service? Everything all right with our accommodation, sir? I'm a girl. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, my word. You have to excuse me. I've misplaced my glasses. But I don't sound like a man, do I? Forgive me. I'm hard of hearing, too. I'm sure you're a fine young orc lad. Um, anyway, everything is very nice here. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Oops. Sorry about that. No, I wasn't looking where I was going. How rude. There's quite a few smells wafting around here. Of the unbathed nature. I just got in yesterday myself. I'm registered for the tournament and everything. I meet. Wait a second. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. Well, if you need someone to get you up to speed, I'd be happy to help. I'm Kieran. And you are? I just skipped that by accident. She's missed orientation. Mina. That would be so great. We can use the practice kitchen so you're not going into things cold tomorrow. I'll act as your referee. But first, let's find you an opponent. This person just wants a free meal, doesn't she? Alright, we've got to find someone to battle. I don't have any money on me. Sorry, little girl. That's not what I was going to ask, but okay. Oh, hello. You've got the right idea, pup. Sleep in, and then more sleep. How's it going? Well, I was hoping you'd find a claw, but this is a good second choice jelly. Oh, blah, 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 blah. It's okay. I know you did your best. Blub. They seem busy. Good day to you. Oh, good day to you. I'm just a tourist from out of town. Here to watch the games. I'm especially rooting for Leonid. We, want, we went to elementary school together, you know. All right. Looks like someone to challenge. Anything else this way? Ooh. Inspect. Interesting. The kitchen coliseum is enormous. Let's talk. Oh crap! I've got his name. Rash, Mash. Oh hi, sir. Remember me? Of course, Mina. And please just call me Frash. Sir is what I have to call my father-in-law. I was so close. Let's charge him. I was wondering if you'd like to get a little practice in. How about it? Sure. I live for cooking battles. We should have just enough time before the opening ceremony. And you won't want to miss that. Good. I see you've found a partner. Let's head to the practice kitchen and get started. Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, we're going to... The practice kitchens. do I need to do to make it into the brigade? Maybe she should have found this out earlier. You must challenge other chefs in town to matches similar to this. Official matches are carried out in the kitchen coliseum, overseen by Chairman Common and the judges. Contestants must earn seven wins to enter the final round. Chefs with three losses are eliminated. Well, that won't happen to us, right, Mina? No way! New way. We're going to make it to the final round. <clears throat> yes. As for the cooking itself, there are three things to avoid if you don't want to lose points during judging. Okay, seems pretty important. First, always incorporate the match's theme ingredient in your dishes. Second, make sure to place your dishes in front of the judges within the time limit. Third, don't leave anything harmful to the judges in your ingredients, like poison. Well, we don't want to kill the judges. There's also a way to gain points, and that's by using ingredients that match the judges' taste preferences. All right, I think I got it. Let's do this. Okay, so how do we find out the judges' taste preferences? Very well. Provide me with a dish predominantly flavored with earth. All right, so that's the green element. And your theme ingredient for this round is Karana. All right, I think that is, well, that thing. Oh, 
I never thought I'd get to say this, but in the words of Chairman Common, Vive la Brigade! Vive la Brigade! Alright, let's get some ingredients. Alright, we've got a fair bit of that. Let's see if we can find any more. Ooh, what's this? Alright, we want to get some ingredients from this guy. Alright, there's some more of those up here, so we will look up there next time. Alright, let's do this. We'll drop in a bunch of that. And a bit more. And a bit more. And then... I'll tell you what, let's just cook this up right now. Yeah! Alright, that's pretty good. We got that done. Let's go back and get some more of that. We got three minutes. Right, we... That only gave us... So we got a... So we want earth, but these are giving us ingredients that are full of uh, water. It's okay, we can deal with that. That's got earth in, that's cool. Anything else? Alright, these dudes fly also, it seems. Ah, oh, spending too much time fighting this dude. Alright. Let's get back. Alright, let's drop some more earth in this bad boy. And we'll drop this in here. Alright, let's stir this up. Ah! Okay, I pressed the wrong button. Let's stir it up. Okay. How am I doing this? There we go. That'll do it. Now we can... Hmm. There we go. That's that. So we've got lots and lots of earth. Let's add some more stuff in from the pantry. Drop some more of that in. We want some more water. This hopefully won't give us too much water, though. I've got a feeling this is going to make it too watery. Ah! Right, we need to get more earth ingredients. No, that's not good. Oh, we want earth. Hmm, it's got a bit of earth. Hey. Right, okay, we've got some earth. We've got a minute left. All right, okay, we're cutting this fine. All right, drop that in. All right, we need to get this all earthy pretty quick. Oh, I think I've messed this up somehow, haven't I? Oh, I think I've messed this up. Let's uh, let's just serve it anyway. See what we can what we can do. Oh well.
Well done, you two. Let's see what we have here. Judgment. Perfect. Oh. Got a lot of points. Seems you've got the Karen in, in the dish. Always add the theme ingredient in real match. All the judges will deduct points from your score. The flavor of earth is achieved when third tier earth gems are most plentiful in your dish. I haven't tried anything quite like this before. You'll be a brigadier before you know it. Excellent work. All right. So we've made some Karina stomach mapu tofu. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've done. Oh, nice. The earth in this is delightful. I haven't tried anything quite like this before. You'll be a brigadier before you know it. Alright, we got a ton of points because we had a whole load of earth in that. It is with pride I announce our winner is Mina. A load of earth in that. That doesn't sound right, does it? But you know. Congratulations. Woohoo! Alright, sweet. We won that with 136. Nice. I was hoping this would calm me down, but now I'm more excited for the tournament to start than before. That was a great warm-up. Mina, you're a strong competitor. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. You're so serious while cooking. It's admirable, but don't get too tense. You're not doing puzzles under a time limit, love. I can see your mind racing in a million directions. Don't forget to breathe. It's funny how I forget to do that when I'm concentrating. I've never battled against chefs from all around the country before. Just think of all the different cuisines and techniques assembled here for the tournament. It's a taste of the world. Taste of the world. Speaking of which, I think I hear some music starting up. Let's go and enjoy the opening ceremonies. Good practice. Cheers. All right, off to the Coliseum. Welcome, one and all. Victusia opens its arms to the world for the annual Battle Chef Brigade Tournament. We wait with bated breath to discover which incredible contestants will join the ranks of the brigade this year. Chefs, I implore you to search within yourselves and draw forth your deepest convictions and abilities. Tomorrow, the battles will commence, but for now, let us join together in celebrating the strength of our land and its people. Vive la Brigade! Vive la Brigade! Alright, that is chapter one complete. So, you can kind of see a little bit about the game in this episode. Hopefully you like it. Why not stick around for episode two? Subscribe to this video and then you'll know when that comes out. Give it a little like, leave a comment below. Or get at me on Twitter, I'll major boredom there, and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.